This video will guide you through selecting and installing a Quark D0 power meter spider on a Quark Prime Power Ready Cranksat. You can view a complete list of the required tools and supplies in the video description below and go to quark.com forward slash power ready for more information. Before you purchase, determine whether you need a 130 BCD or 110 BCD power meter spider. BCD stands for bolt circle diameter, the distance between the chain rings bolt holes. You will also need to determine if you need a hidden bolt or a non-hidden bolt compatible power meter. On a hidden bolt crankset, one chain ring bolt is hidden behind the crank arm. Your local bike shop can help you determine which power meter spider is compatible with your Quark Prime crankset. First, remove the chain from the chain rings. Remove the crankset from the frame. This GXP version unbolts from the non-drive side. BB30 versions unbolt from the drive side. Set aside any spacers or shields in the order they were removed for reassembly. Transfer the drive side crank arm to a clean flat bench. Use a 5mm and a 6mm hex wrench to remove the chain rings. Set up the included T20 Torx driver in the T-handle orientation. Firmly grasp the crankset as you loosen the bolts. The bolts are torqued to 5 Newton meters and should loosen easily. Ensure the T20 Torx driver is seated squarely in the bolt head when loosening or tightening the bolt heads to avoid stripping them. Once you have loosened the bolts, you can change the tool's orientation to remove the bolts faster. Spray isopropyl alcohol on the spider mounting surface and clean the interface bolt holes with a clean, lint-free shop towel and cotton swab. Place the power meter spider on the crank arm. The interface is keyed so the spider can only be seated in the correct orientation. New mounting bolts are included in the handle of the T20 Torx driver. Tighten the new mounting bolts one turn each in an alternating sequence every fourth bolt until a torque of 5 newton meters is achieved for each bolt. For 2 by drive trains, install the chain ring so the derailment pin is in line with the crank arm. For hidden bolt crank sets, verify the knurled edge chain ring nut is installed in the chain ring. Installation instructions are available at www.cork.com. Use the new SRAM chainring bolts to secure the chainrings. The bolts have thread locker on them and should not be greased. Use a 6mm hex wrench, a 5mm hex bit socket, and a torque wrench to tighten the chainring bolts. Apply a thin layer of grease to the spindle, threads, spline, and bearing race. Install any spacers or shields that were set aside during crankset removal onto the crank spindle and or bottom bracket. Use an 8mm or 10mm hex bit socket and a torque wrench to tighten the crank bolt. There should be no play in the crankset once installed. If there is play in the crankset, Remove the crank arms and apply additional grease to the splines. Repeat the installation procedure until play is eliminated. Adjustments to the number of spacers used may be required. Install the chain. To view and download your power data, you must pair your power meter with a compatible cycling computer. Visit this link for more information and tips on using your power meter. This concludes the installation procedure for a Quark D0 power meter on a Quark Prime Power Ready Crankset.